I need a confidence booster, so we're gonna do uh, none of that. Ew. We're gonna do uh, Edge Reality. This is a fun map. I have I have talked about this in a video before, even though one of my viewers was asking about it recently. I am very offended. But in this map, when you have Z time, you can float upwards pretty much forever. Oh, I should have played as Commando to show that off. I've killed myself a few times with it though. I'm not sure if you can go up to like there's a limit or something, but I've like flown too high when I was low on health and fallen down, taking a bit of fall damage, and died. But you can fly, so once we get some Z time, I will uh, I'll see if I can showcase this. We won't be able to extend it too far because we're not commando, but hey. What you gonna do, right? What you gonna do when they come for you? How does Zed Time even get triggered? I really don't know. I play this game a lot, but I don't really understand the mechanics of it, like, intimately, you know? So we can, like, fly now. And then Super Goomba Stomp. Nope. So as Commando, you can continue extending it and keep going higher and higher. It's real fun. I enjoy it. I like the low gravity maps. There's that one moon base or whatever in KF1. That's a super fun map. I might get that for KF2. It's probably been ported over, right? I'd imagine. I'd be very surprised if it weren't. Boom, baby. I love this little trader thingy too. It's cool. We're not going to get surprised this time because I'm making sure we get a win on this easy map. Because I need a confidence booster. Because I've been losing a lot. We are moving up to Hell and Earth, so it is it is a higher difficulty than what I'm used to. But I need to do that because YouTube doesn't like my suicidal runs. I guess I could put like Sui instead of suicidal, but... I mean, uh, I could also just run Hell and Earth and then get good. That's my strategy. So far, not working so great. <laughs> I don't know, I've realized that I'm pretty good at this game. I've, I've discovered that I don't actually suck that much at this game. I'm not I'm not great at it, but I'm, uh, I'm actually probably... I'm in a top percentile, right? Like, I could be described as... Not top one percentile. I mean, maybe. I don't know how many people are playing and how many people actually play on, like, a high level. Like, I'm probably quite a bit better than your average player, right? That feels good. You need to stay humble as well, right? You gotta stay... ...reasonable about it. I'm not... not I'm not blowing anybody's shoes off with my abilities, but... Just playing with other people at times. Like, online matches and stuff. They suck. So I'm better than them, and uh, I need to make sure people know that. I need to show off how much better I am. Launch me, please. Oh, I wanted to get a launch on that. I didn't make it, though. Video evidence of that. I can't launch again because I might die. And he's too, he's too low now, so I can't even do it. See, oh, I didn't, I didn't have ammunition. Shoot. I don't have ammunition. I thought I did. It's weird, because you have to, like, make sure you're reloading frequently with these instead of with the deagles or something where you, know, you want to specifically not reload very often. Um, like, once you run out, you want to reload then, but because this doesn't get a speed bonus from that, uh, you actually don't care about that. Which is a little bit... It's like a... a um, paradigm shift, you know? One that I'm not into. And one that's a little bit tricky to get used to. What do we got? These guys worth anything? No, you're not worth nothing. Get out of here. Let's go. I wonder how high you can jump in the, in the Z time if you're like at one of the... Oh, uh, I don't have enough money to get the Deagle's upgraded. 
buy some ammo for it, it's fine. Like, if I was up there, I jumped up there. One way to find out, right? I'm not sure if I can jump that high, but... Maybe if I'm standing on this and then I get a jump on it. Maybe? Let's try it. <laughs> I want to see if I can do it. I heard him, like, right around here, though. These guys are not something I can extend off of, though. I know I have my deagles. I just like the clocks, okay? They're fun. Can I jump on top of this? That's going to be my first goal, okay? First goal, jump on top of these things. See if I can get over the, the invisible wall here. Okay, second step, jump up on top of that from these. Which means we have to get, like, a lot of Z time that I don't really have. That'd be two Z time in one round, and also not getting disrupted from being on top of there, which is already, like, a whole thing in itself, right? I imagine I'll be able to jump on top of these if we just get some Z time. Just need a little bit of Z time. And I imagine we'll be able to get on top of this just fine. Even without extending, I think we'll be able to jump over it. I don't think it'll be tricky at all. What are you doing? I wish this was a, a solid thing here, though, so you can walk around it. But they can, like, make their way over to you still, right? So it's a little bit, you know, finicky, but it's fine. Okay. I thought I might be able to make it. I, uh, I could not. I thought he still lived after that. I'm like, bruh. You have to be dead. You're not allowed to be alive. Hey, there we go. Let's see if we can't get this. Ooh, wow. It's a real tall wall there. I think there's like a command or something you can do to see the, the like bounding boxes. But I don't know what it is. And it would involve cheats. And I kind of want some... I don't know, Vosh? Items? Crates? Not that they do anything for me, but... I want them! I like them. I like collecting stuff like that, you know? Way over there. Uh, let's upgrade these twice and then fill these up here. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, so first up we have to get on top of that, which means we're going to need minimum to, uh, to, to extend the Z time once. Might only be possible with a commando. That could happen, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. They could probably just jump right up here as well. If I can get up there, they could probably just jump straight on up. I bet. Oh, can we get the extend? Yeah, we can. Can we get up over it? Nope. Could time that it could time that extend a little bit better though. So we'll uh, we'll give it another try here. I haven't given up on the dream just yet. That was a better extend. Can't make it. We're gonna need a commando. Might try again with the commando. Not next time, but maybe next week. I mean, I'm going to try it again today. See if I can't maybe get uh, even better timing on it, you know? Who knows? It's all about that time. If I can get it, I think I can make it. Don't think I was high enough to make it up there, even if there was no invisible wall. So, to get up there, I think we'll definitely need a commando. But... Get onto this, I'm still not 100% sold that it's impossible. I have I have no basis for this, but I, just, I feel like we can jump pretty dang high. There's no way they made it that big, right? They probably literally did, it's the other thing, right? Like, they probably made it so you can't do that, even with... Because it's not like they don't know that it's infinite gravity, right? Like, they did that. 
They made an infinite gravity. Why do we have two flesh pounds? Or like all these flesh pounds, man. Too many flesh pounds. I got a Z time and I didn't even get to use it. Dang. I got a Z time extend on the flesh pound though. That felt pretty good. Ooh, we're getting a little bit bored here. You know, this is not an easy map on um, up on this little section up here. It's it's actually quite challenging. You can like control your own difficulty based on where you're you camping. It's kind of neat. It's a very easy map if you're like kiting around a larger area, but I'm not doing that because I'm trying to get up here, and uh, as a result. Much harder map. Nice map, though. Very nice. Pretty map. Look at these textures. You see those textures? That's like God tier texturing right there. It's not really, but it's uh, it's acceptable texturing, you know. Who did I hear? I thought I heard a robot, but there's only this guy left, so I could not have possibly heard a robot. Uh, we're gonna have the boss fight now. That's good. Get the Glock upgraded. Yeah, I've been. What I've been doing recently is I've actually been going for the dual nine millimeters and then upgrading these. Tell me what else are you gonna do with your money, right? It's at least something. It's at least something. You're out of ammunition. You got a scrape on you. Dual nine millimeters that are upgraded. Can handle it mighty fine, actually. They have no problem with it. I think you have to reload, but, like, that's fine. You're out of ammo. You want to use a single 9mm or two 9mm? I mean, come on. It's a, it's an obvious, obvious question here, you know? You go for the two 9 mils. It's also like really good against Hans because he always dodges. So he's never really shooting you because you get him you get enough shots off at him that he's constantly dodging. So if you can just track his head, then uh, he just doesn't really attack. It's kinda like trivialized, you know? Which is uh, kind of fun. I mean he's kinda trivial anyway, just in general, because look at this boss. You seeing this? He's nothing. I should be using the uh, the deagles for this though, probably. They're a little bit better. The Glocks are really good. Almost like single Glock, almost as good as dual deagles, but not quite as good, you know. Just slightly worse. So when you're trying to go for like a DPS race here, like with this, um, you want to use those deagles. They're just a little bit better, you know? Easy boss fight though. Hans is, I mean, Hans is a pushover. It's got like a blue tint on this map too, the, the money. It's kind of weird. Alright, well, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.